Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel Snapshots Corner. I'm Snapshot and we are at the range in the wintry cold Norway. It's around zero Celsius today so it's freezing out here. But uh, anyway we're gonna shoot the Heim Ruger number one. Uh, it is a rifle that I had uh, a video on previously and uh, it's a very fine rifle. It belongs to a friend of mine. And I also borrowed a, a shooting sledge from Caldwell. I think it's called Matrix. It's a plasticky one. I don't know if it's any good, but I'll try it out. Uh, and we'll shoot at 100 meters on uh, some small targets. I have two moose and two reindeer down there. And uh, I'll see if uh, it's possible to, to hit the lights, <laughs> so to speak, in uh, those animals with uh, this 6.5 by 55 Swede ammunition that I have loaded up. I will in the future not show uh, too much uh, how to because uh, YouTube is a little bit uh, strict on, on that. Uh, I know I know some YouTubers who have been uh, striked because they show a little bit too much how to. I don't know why. It's a little bit strange but uh, this is uh, loaded with uh, with Awari N160. It's 44 grains and it has it's a match bullet so it's a cheap bullet. And overall length is uh, 76.5 millimeters. So I will start by um, shooting a group of three. Before that, I have my eyes on already, but you know, yes, is important too. As I already hear a little bit, uh, I'm half deaf, <laughs> sort of. This is the same range that I uh, I shot a video a couple of years ago, and that's the video that was most pop has been most popular on my YouTube channel. So it's the same range, same bench, and uh, when I came here today I had to bring my axe, my trusted Granfors Bruk woods, small woods axe to uh, hack down or hack around or clean the bench from ice. Well, my eyes are in, my eyes are on. And uh, I have a cartridge, and uh, on the Ruger number one, it's a single shot. So uh, you load one cartridge at a time. It's a folding block single shot, and this one is a little bit uh, different than the 30 odd six that I know I own myself. This one uh, you need actually to uh, to have it on uh, on safe to unload it or to open it. There you go. Be ready for the bang. I'll shoot a group of three on the um, first moose. I'm not uh, accustomed to shoot from the bench too much, but uh, good recoil, not too much. I'll shoot another one. Recoil is good. If you compare it to my 30 odd 6, it's actually a little bit milder. You take away the human wobbling factor by shooting uh, from a bench, of course. Let's see. Oh. It's a good group. I took 15 left and 2 up. I think that will be good. You shoot another 3. And then uh, when if I need to put it back I can consult with the video. <laughs> so, uh, don't worry my friend. <laughs> I have plenty of ammo. I loaded this ones for the Krag Jørgensen but uh, they were a little bit on the heavy side so uh, they're good for this one. The, the Ruger number one can take anything. Let's see. Well to the left and three up is the final, I think. I'll shoot three more and see. I 
I love the system on the Ruger number one. It's so nice. Very sturdy. For single shots, three shots uh, group is uh, should be enough. Oh, it's moving down. I don't know why. Maybe it's the sledge. It's a little bit. Uh, it's not a lead sledge, you know. So or shooting rest or what you call it. Let's see. Yes. I think they're pretty much in there actually. So uh, let's shoot three more just to verify. As I said, I have enough ammo, ammunition. Ammunition. And uh, I can shoot with my prescription glasses with the uh, binos, and that's good. I'll do three more on the reindeer. I've been on reindeer hunt, but never on moose hunt. It's pretty darn easy to... Uh, and you can settle down and uh, take it easy, breathe, remember your breathing and, uh, you know, shoot and have a good time at the range. Shooting a single shot for you. Single shot rifles is the way to go because it uh, makes you an ethic uh, responsible shooter. Or one shot, one game down. Still you need to breathe and Calm down and you know, eight left, three up total. And as cold as it is today, the barrel will have good time to uh, neutralize or to cool down. I knew that the seat was a little bit low, so I brought a sleeping bag, bag to sit on uh, behind here. Now you can see the setup. and. Uh, I'm in the five ring, but I uh, got uh, I adjusted it one more down, so uh, total is now uh, one up and eight left. Three more, and I think I will be able now to touch the number five inside the circle. I'll take a picture of the target uh, later on with the camera and impose in the in the video. I tell you, this Heimruger is uh, something, and you know the engraving on the on the bridge here and everything. It's so nice, but this plastic uh, shooting bench is uh, well uh, leaves a little bit to be to be desired. It's uh, borrowed it from a friend of mine, and he's uh, only shooting black powder. So for that use, it's probably good. But for a precision rifle like this, you probably should have something a little bit more heavy.
That should be three shots almost touching each other. They are all actually in the same group as the others. I'll put it one more down so I'm back to zero on the, on the high height elevation. I'll just shoot uh, the same uh, reindeer. I fancy reindeers actually. I like Yoika bolts. <laughs> well, sometimes I'm so funny for myself. I'll shoot three and uh, we'll see. They have shot several moose with this uh, rifle. I'm in there, you know, a hundred yards, uh, and this is not my rifle, so uh, I'll uh, stick to that. It's eight left, it's the final. Get up there, you know, uh, far up there. Perhaps I'll uh, see if it's, it's probably a rifle gong or something. Yep, three shots on the gong. There's a gong there at uh, 300 yards, 300 meters. I shouldn't be that far off, I think. That's a hit. You just have to believe me. <laughs> That was good fun. Hit again. Hit again. You can see it moving, so... Well, <laughs> it's probably... Well, it's the size of uh, the lights on a deer. At 300 yards, so... Uh, it's a, uh, probably 40-40 or something. Centimeters, that is. Yes. My friend will probably be all happy because it looks like this rifle. It is impossible to miss with it. Yes. I can... With um, some kind of uh, of uh, it's pleasure and it's uh, uh, some kind of confidence actually uh, hit a target this size on 300 yards all the time. That's cool. I had to elevate a little. Bit. I'll just uh, keep on uh, plinking, plinking with six and a half, 55 Swede. This cartridge is actually made for the Krag Jørgensen, but it's equal or even better in this uh, Heimruger number one. And the Heimruger or even the normal Ruger number one, it's one heck of a rifle. It's a very nice hunting rifle and this one is too. That I think was the first miss. Hit. I had one miss, I had to admit it, but uh, the target is swinging right now, so let's see if I can hit it again. Swinging! Ha. Come on. Swinging! Swinging again! And when you loan your own ammunition, it's not that expensive to shoot either. Swinging! <laughs> Swinging! <laughs> cool! I think the other, my own Ruger number one, the 30-06 is 
equal uh, accurate as this one. It's not. Uh, I will go. I'll probably will be back here and shooting that as well on the same swinging target up there because that was good fun. Three to nine size. It's very really clear. Nice glass. Swinging! Swinging! It's swinging! <laughs> Ten more! You know what? I call it today. Good time at the range. But uh, good fun and a good rifle. I will uh, just know. Uh, Adjust the sight back. Eight. It was eight left. I'll put it eight right, so it's zeroed for my friend's uh, ammunition. Uh, I'll just uh, eight right is what I'm gonna do now, and then it's back to the position it was when I started. I'll link to the other video uh, in the end scene, and uh, I uh, link to my. Uh, my uh, playlist on the firearms reviews on the end scene and uh, but the last thing I will tell you all is uh, as I always say in my videos I, I can actually take out uh, my earbuds right now uh, the thing I always say in my videos is that uh, the most important thing in life even or if you are at the range or if in real life is to always shoot straight. That's meaning be honest. That's a virtue to be high valued. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, you know, remember this and subscribe. Uh, I, I know it's a little bit of nagging, but uh, it's the only way to keep the channel going.